Hi, welcome back to Sherry's Crocheted Happiness. I just wanted to show you really quick something that I'm working on and an, uh, an error that I made and maybe I can help you from making um, in the future on a project that you're working on. So I'm working on this orangutan. This is the front of the orangutan's face and this is the back of his head. And I'm working with this ice yarn, like an eyelash yarn. And the instructions in my pattern said to work the wrong side facing you so that most of the yarn will, the fluffy part will go on the outside. Well, I realized as I was done and stuffed and getting ready to put my eyes on that I had not turned it inside out. And it doesn't specifically say in my pattern to turn it inside out, but if I'm working so that I'm wrong side anyways, I'm thinking that this is not very long and so i'm hoping now that i've been able to get this back open and find my end that once i take all this fluff out and turn it right turn it the other direction i'm hoping that maybe it will be a little bit more fluffy on the uh inside which will then turn out to be my outside and if not, then it was just a qu quick lesson to show you that it didn't make a difference. Okay, so there's the fluff. And I'm going to turn this inside out. And I can already tell a difference. But this is definitely fluffier. Look at how much fluffier that is. Wow. Wow. So much better. I'm so glad that I took the time to take that apart and put it back to, uh, and flip that inside out. So now all of my little tags are showing, but I can tuck those definitely in and that, so you can see the difference from that to this. So much fluffier. And that is really going to add to the texture of this orangutan. And I don't, uh, I think I can show you the pattern here, but the pattern that I'm working from is a paid pattern and it is Orwell the Orangutan by Janine Holmes and it is available online for purchase on Etsy or on if you just Google Orwell the Orangutan, that's how I found him. So quick lesson, quick learning to learning lesson there um, to follow the directions and to pay attention when um, when you're working or otherwise you get to take it apart and redo it. So now I can just restuff this guy with some stuffing and then I will close it up and get my eyes on there. And I have already done the little eye patches for my orangutan and I actually had um, some, I think these are probably 12 millimeter, 12 millimeter eyes and it called for 15 and so anyways I didn't really like didn't think that was looking like the pattern so I stopped by Hobby Lobby this afternoon on our way home from um, some adventures and got the correct size so anyways I'm gonna work on trying to get these eye the safety eye off because um, you can if you work on it hard enough get that off uh, but anyways um, I've got the correct eyes I've got my fluff going the correct way, or my fur going the correct way, and I'm going to get fluffing again. But anyways, I just wanted to show you the difference when crocheting um, with this eyelash yarn. Um, the difference when it says to work it uh, the wrong side so that it is more fluff, it really does, or more fur, it really does make a difference. So anyways... That's what I learned from this project today, so uh, I'll jump on later and show you if I come across any other teaching moments, and then I'll definitely show you what he looks like in the end. So thanks for stopping by. Happy crocheting. Happy Saturday.